James here with Vorpal Board, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to bring decks created in Unmatched Maker into your Vorpal Board games to play online. Unmatched Maker is an online tool built and maintained by Jonathan Guberman, who is an active member of the Unmatched community and also a really good player. You can find the tool online at unmatched.cards. Unmatched Maker lets you quickly create your own decks via text entry, upload art, and customize the layout of your cards. It's an extremely cool tool, and I highly recommend checking it out if you're an Unmatched player. Once you're done creating a deck, you can use the tool to print out and sleeve your deck, build it into a virtual tabletop, or share it with other players online. There are over 1400 decks published on here, so there's a lot to explore. Today I'm going to take a look at the most popular decks and choose one to use as my example. Let's see, I'm a big horror fan, so let's take a look at this Jason Voorhees deck. This deck was created by user Jack North. It has a nice card back, a character card, and cool art for the entire deck. What I want to do now is download the images for this deck so I can bring them into Vorpal Board. To do that, you scroll to the top of the page and click on Save as Image. Now I'm presented with some options of how you can generate the images for the deck. I want to get a zip file of all the deck images. I want them in PNG format. I'm going to generate an image for each card in the deck, which will make importing into Vorpal Board a lot quicker. I want to include the character card. I want to include the card back. And then I'm going to scale the images up a little bit. I've seen 600 pixels wide uh, be a good number for a display in Vorpal Board. Now I can go ahead and click download. The site will take a few seconds to generate my zip file for me. And when it's ready, it'll start downloading on its own. All right, now that I have my zip, let's take a look at the contents. You can see that there's a folder for the card back, there's a folder for the character card, and then there's a folder for the deck, which includes all the cards that I exported. And you'll be able to see that there are duplicates of some cards because that means there are three or four of those cards in the deck that was created. Now I'm gonna jump over into my Vorpal Board session, which I started before recording. And I'm going to show you how to bring these cards into your session. The first thing that I'm going to do is drag and drop the card back and the character card into our game. I'll move these off to the side for the moment. Now I'm going to drag and drop all the card fronts into our game session. Vorpal Board limits the number of cards that you can upload all at once to 25 at a time, so I'm just going to grab the first set of these and I'll do them in two batches. As the images are being uploaded, you'll see them popping into our game session. Now I'll upload the second batch. Once all the uploading is done, you'll have a stack of all these cards sitting on top of each other. I'm going to group select all of them, right click, and I can say add to deck, new deck. Now I have myself a deck of 30 cards, which if I right click, I can come in here and I'm going to rename this Jason Voorhees. All right, so now I have my deck, I can right click on it. I can set its card back, which I will set to the nice fancy card back. And once that's done, I can delete this card back image out of my game. And at this point, I have a functional deck that can be shuffled and I can draw my starting hand out of here. And we could um, invite our friends and play a game of Unmatched using Jason Voorhees as my character. As a final cherry on top of this horrifying cupcake, I found a transparent PNG of Jason himself online and I will drag that into the game to be used as my mini. For more information on Vorpal Board, please visit vorpalboard.com and be sure to check out Unmatched Maker at unmatched.cards to join in the fun.